How's it going, everyone? I'd just like to thank everyone who's been watching my videos and stuff. I really appreciate it, and I've been really enjoying the Hogwarts Legacy game. It's actually been really, really fun, and to be fair, I'm quite addicted. Um, again, if you come across a video, I'd appreciate it if you watch it till the end. It just helps out. Also, like the video if you enjoy it, and also subscribe. That would mean a lot, and I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you, everyone who's been watching, and let's get right into it. Why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, what are they? Oh, couple of nasal whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> 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 Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Stand back. She's just magnificent. <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. take to someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. 
You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. You got one. <laughs> That's cute as. Oh. Ah, cool. Settle yourself. I mean, you. Oh, look at it. Difficult. I mean, you know how oh, you gotta do that really quickly, eh? There are. Professor Howen will never believe this. There you are. We need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh, there's no... Oh, my God. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live. A vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. This is so cool. Where's the other one? thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. 